What is going on, Chill Zone? This is the 16th episode of Empty Soul. And as we saw in the last episode of Empty Soul, things got disturbing. Now, getting into the recap. Last time on Empty Soul! And the last time Empty Soul, uh... We pretty much looked some more around the house, and just as whatever that voice said, um... That things would get more interesting, things did indeed get more interesting. In the night, in the mysterious, oh so mysterious night... We saw a secret basement that we were able to acquire by putting a book in a spot that didn't have, you know, it was pretty much empty. Like your basic, you put in the book and then the bookshelf slides to the side. So that happened, and we found the cellar. And of course, we all know what happens whenever someone has a cellar. It's usually for some dirty stuff. It's usually for some creepy stuff, especially if they're hiding a cellar. I mean, come on, like, is it a creepy secret, you know, a secret sex dungeon or something? You know, it, it, it's, it's creepy. But anyway, getting into actually what it really was, what we found after going through a tumultuous amount of steps was Solon's father taking provocative pictures of her sister, Sinaj. I know, it's pretty messed up. And uh, we were pretty much prompted to uh, basically, bas basically we had to come in at a certain time before things got too ugly, before things got too messy. And um, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to really listen to, you know, her voice or the, the voice in her head, so to speak, or whatever, saying, you know, it's time. I was very, you know, I was like, I don't know if I should do this, but I did, and I'm glad that I did. But when I came in, um, Solin pretty much, you know, of course, was freaking out. I mean, her father, she just, she's just finding out that her father is a pedophile. So she confronts her father, and, you know, it's pretty much like, you know, I'm going to tell the police, I'm going to tell mom, blah, 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 blah. And, of course, her father um, grabs her and says, like, oh, no, you're not, and um, uses some kind of medication to knock her out. And then uh, after she's completely knocked out, it fades to black, goes to save screen. So now... We are going to go on and get into what happens after the aftermath of the whole madness. And so we're just going to load this file and see what it's going to lead us to. And I think this is kind of... interesting. It's called Back to Reality. It's time to go back to reality. All right. We got some color back again. Back to reality. I can't move or anything. Oh. This is where she left off, I believe, in episode uh, 12. This is all the way back in... No, actually, this, this is... This was where she was in episode 11, when I was recording with, uh, Chibe. I... I'm so sorry. How could I... <clears throat> wow, this is really strong. This, this is some strong acting starting out. <laughs> oh, I gotta get into this. <clears throat> accident. It's all about the freaking accident! My past. It's not what I recall. My father. Sinaj, were you abused as a child? Why didn't you say it before? If I just... 
Is that why you laughed? My father. I didn't... I don't know who I am anymore. It wasn't your fault. You did your best. I'm tired of this. Enough of this nonsense! Who are you? Why are you talking to me? What do you want? What do I... What do I feel I know you? Oh, why? Sorry. Goodness gracious. Stumbled over my words in the most... <sighs> emotional moment. <sighs> what do you want? Why do I feel I know you? Why? You'll know soon enough. No! I want to know it now! Death. Really? <laughs> I'm Death, the one who will decide your fate. Well, that's a shocker. What? Find me. Solon. I'll answer everything you want. How is death supposed to sound? <laughs> it's gone. Again. I need to get to the bottom of this. But... If that's the person who did this... To Sinaj... I don't care. But it's gonna pay! What happened to the light? It's darker now. I'm gonna see what happened. Sinaj, I'll be back in a moment. Well, looks like it's back to investigating. Thank goodness there's no health. But of course, I'm pretty sure a jump scare is guaranteed. Holy crap. That was just creepy. How she just snapped bottom like that? Gosh, that's just creepy. I know, I know the jump scare is the inevitable, man. I'm just glad she doesn't have any health. Well, obviously I can't pass this, so I'm just going to go into the next one. Alright. The most darkest of the dark rooms. Hmm. What's this? There's something written here. Third turn. Right 59. Uh, that sounds like it has something to do with her accident. I can't interact with that. This bed? What's this? What the heck is this? Hmm. I can still run really fast. With shift. It's like I'm missing something. There's something written here. Oh, that's the same thing. Oh, this is peculiar. There's so many... There's but so many, uh... Things you're gonna get down to with so many closed doors. And I have no idea what this is. Can I walk through it? Can I put some pressure on it? 
No. Hmm. This is rather peculiar. What's this? Oh. Well, I guess we're checking out that room, guys. Whoever made the music for this part, though, I really like it. I know it's going to get kind of creepy, but I really like this music. Going to a cutscene. Dude, I love this music. It's so... It's so space-like, and I just, I just, oh, I love the bass, I love, I love everything about the composition itself. Huh? That's strange. There's nobody here. What happened with the doctors and the nurses from the hospital? What about the lights? Gosh, I love this music, sorry. It's so pleasant! The symbols and everything, like, oh my goodness, like, like, ugh. I, this has to be, like, my favorite music that I've heard in the entire game. I absolutely love it. It's just so, oh, so beautiful. Sorry. There are only a few ones working. Maybe with the hospital's emergency power system. Darn, this has to be my lucky day. I need to find someone. Oh, that's sarcasm. <laughs> I read it incorrectly. Darn. This has been my lucky day. I need to find someone. Man, this music is beautiful. Oh. What this thing is doing with the symbols and like... It's just... Oh, it's wonderful. Of course I don't have a password. Oops. Yep. Like, I could put in something, like, stupid, like, Sanaz or Solin or her father's name, whatever her father's name is. Whew. There's quite a lot of stuff to look in here, though. This is just a regular vending machine. Nothing really important here. This is a clock. This is a fire hydrant. And this right here is probably something else that involves. There's a computer. I can record my progress here. Sure. So, I'm gonna save where this is at the end of chapter 2. Because I don't need that anymore. I'm well past that. Um. This just. This is really interesting. This is a totally different environment. But then, then what the other room was, especially with the music, I got two door options here. And considering that I'm, this looks like an elevator of some sort. So I'm going to go on and check out this door right here. That's if it's open. Appears as if we got a key item going on right here. An old rag. Sure. Gosh, this music is beautiful. Like it's just so pleasant. Like I don't think I don't. I feel like it's it's ju it's just me because I like it so much. But I, I, it's just really beautiful. The symbols and everything, just how they blend all those different textures of sound. Well, I can't go into these these doors or whatever. I'm pretty sure, considering that it's a key item, that I can use that rag for something. Not exactly sure what I can use it for yet. But I do know that I can use it for something whenever I find out what that something is. Now, that could be an elevator. This looks like... Hmm. What's this? Right here. It is an elevator. Hmm. What's this? Nothing I can interact with, anyways.
This is an elevator. I'm gonna go back out. Oh, wow. Once you're in here, you're in here. First floor, I guess. Isn't that what, yeah, where I already was. Wh what? It's locked. I can't get out. Well, even though it looked like the elevator, we know that this is the elevator, and that wasn't. And this does make plenty of sense that there's no way out, basically. So, we're already on the first floor, as I knew before. I just wanted to get out to see what was in that blue... Past those blue doors, but we can't. Apparently, that's the way out. So, let's go to the second floor and see what's going on there. That looks like... I can't remember that guy's name. From the first chapter. So guys, it was really like destroying me that much that I couldn't remember what his name was. I had to like find it because <laughs> I forgot. But yeah, Shane, that's the guy's name who is in the first chapter and the second chapter. Well, not really as much as in the second chapter. He didn't really show his face, but he was mentioned. But yeah, that's his name. Um, I'm probably going to check out this floor and... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Of course, you know, I like to ignore important persons. Ooh, what's this? Probably just a light. I like to I like to ignore important persons and then acknowledge them after I've checked out all the other stuff. There's something written here. Fourth turn, right ninety seven. Hmm, that's weird. Gosh, there's just so many parts to this place. This is just the second floor. Well, it says you can, but there's nothing available to buy. Alright, so after I check out this door right here. Door? Is that a win- oh, that's a window. Well, it's time to stop ignoring him. Let's talk to him. Yep, it's Shane. <laughs> That's his name. I could have simply walked up to him and you know, but I, 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 I had to. I had to somehow. I don't. I don't know. It was really stupid. But uh, whatever. Darn it! Where is everyone? Shane. Shane, is that you? What are you doing here? I thought you were in the other world. Who are you? Anyways, no time right now. You know me, right? Then help me! The story repeats... I need to find someone in this freaking hospital! Otherwise, my wife will- Your wife? Yes, Shandy. Shandy. Sorry! <laughs> Sandy! Yes, Sandy. She needs the oxygen to breathe. But without power, the machines aren't working. Sandy? Sandy the journalist? She's your wife, right? But, your daughter. Daughter? What are you talking about? I don't have kids. Sandy, she can't have them. But you know her? Do you work with her? I just...
Never mind. Novi City is a small place. I shouldn't be worried about that. My sister, she's here too. So we both need to find a way to restore the energy. Will you help me? I... I... I, I can't. What? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. I, I just... I can't waste time. I have to go! Shane? Here? But his daughter... No, his wife now... What's happening? Is it possible? I told you already. Your head's a mess. That's gonna be the voice of death from now on. <laughs> Stop it, leave me alone! Well, I guess that's it for this cutscene. So guys, I'm just gonna go on and leave it off right here. We're gonna do some more looking around um, in the next episode. This... Man, I've done so many episodes at this point, I'm losing count. What? <laughs> I believe we'll see you in the 17th episode of the Let's Play of Empty Soul. I believe that's it now, the 17th episode. So, if you enjoyed what you've seen, as I usually say, press the like button. And if you're feeling a little edgy, press the subscribe button. Oh my goodness, press the subscribe button. Yeah, press it. And if you have anything to say, please leave a comment at the bottom so I can read it because I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. So, as I say, be fresh, keep cool, and most importantly, stay chill.